Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got a good one for you today. This one we're going to go back to I Intend to Survive. Okay, as you've seen in a few of my videos, I like steak. Now, when I'm backpacking, camping, surviving, doing my overnighters that I'm starting to do now, it's hard for me to take in steak unless I lug in a cooler with ice. And you know, last time with my brother, not too bad. You know, I had a, my truck cooler with ice. What if you don't have that? What if you're backpacking? You're going to be out there a couple of days and all you have is your backpack. You can't lug a cooler. Well, we've discussed the freeze dried foods before. What I've got today. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to try this out and I'm going to bring you with me. Freeze dried sirloin steak. This pack is 10 servings. 10 3 ounce sirloin steaks in this bag. All you do, add some water, they will regenerate. Drain the excess water and cook like you would any other sirloin. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to mix up this little marinade right here. And this is what I'm going to rehydrate it with. Boost in some flavor along with it. Let me get it all set up. Let me go ahead and open the bag for you. But I'm, I want to see what this stuff looks like too. I haven't opened it yet. You're, you're with me the first time I do it. And uh, it comes sealed pretty good in these Mylar bags. They're not vacuum sealed. Now what I'm going to do once, now that I've opened this bag, I'm going to take these out and individually put them in a vacuum sealed bag. So, okay, here we go. There is a freeze dried sirloin steak. Uh, it's got the texture of Lucky Charm marshmallows. It don't smell bad. So I'm going to mix this up real quick. You know what? I'm going to let you stay with me while I do it. Takes a little bit of oil and a little bit of water. So let's get this party started. Takes a quarter cup of water. Forgive me for my ugly cup. There's my quarter cup of water. Takes a quarter cup of vegetable oil. There's my quarter cup of vegetable oil. And then we just pour in our marinade. Grill makes mesquite. I love using this. I make fajitas with it a lot. Chicken or steak. It does a really good job. We even chop uh, peppers and onions, squash, zucchini, mushrooms and all that and marinate those as well. And they come out great. Alright, it's a little thick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Okay, a lot more water. I added about a, another quarter of a cup. So, we'll get it all mixed up here. Now, let me position you so you can see. I'm going to pour a little bit in my handy dandy pan here like such I'll set the styrofoam steak on there man I'm just going to cover it just like this now the directions the directions state about 15 minutes so we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes so that I can get my skillet I'm going to cook this inside on the skillet 
Let this sit for about 15 minutes. Let me get everything ready and I'll bring you right back. So just hold tight and get ready for a good one. All right, while we're waiting on that steak to rehydrate, just want to let you know that so far everything with the channel is going pretty decent. I got some good videos coming up for you. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a long time. So this one's going to be all right. Uh, got my kayak just about ready to hit the water. Might do that this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, so finding a place I can put it in water is going to be more of a challenge than anything else. But we're going to try. Uh, Sweet Outdoors is doing great. It's not lemonade. So uh, let's get back to waiting on this steak. I will be back. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. One thing that I have noticed with the steak, although it is a nice full bag of steak, they're thin. I mean, that's a thin piece of steak. I like a thick steak. Cooking these on the grill, to me, probably be pretty challenging. So, what I will probably end up doing with these will either be skillet like I'm going to do tonight or dice it up, shred it up into small pieces for a good stew. This right here, this vegetable beef, Walmart, $3.98, eight servings. Put some of that fresh, <laughs> fresh, put some of that freeze dried sirloin chopped up in here. Oh man, you want to talk about some good eating. I've eaten this soup right here without the freeze-dried food in it. I mean, this is freeze-dried itself, but I've eaten this already by itself, and this is really good. Uh, it's actually in one of my videos. If you'll go back and check out my Osceola hunting video, it's in there. Mix it with that sirloin steak right there. Come to a boil, about 10, 15 minutes, you'll be good to go. So uh, let me get back over here and check these... Uh, Check this steak that I got marinating, and we'll get back to the skillet. Okay, I think we're ready. Now, we've got the texture of a regular steak. And, well, we should have because it's a regular steak. So what we're doing now, we are waiting for the little pioneer woman cast iron skillet it's getting nice and hot got a little bit of uh, uh, olive oil a little bit of olive oil in there it's got a little bit too much but we'll just have to deal with it this is just a test run review to see how good this stuff is I've watched a few YouTube videos on the freeze dried steak they all look good so you know, me being into the backpack and the survival, the camping and all that stuff, I wanted to be able to, you know, I want to take different stuff. This is one of the things that I had my own for a while. Now, the bag that I've got that I showed you, I bought it off of, you, no, not YouTube, I'm sorry, eBay for $36.00 where the same bag on Amazon is $47. Now they also have chicken, filet mignon, pork chops, fish, I mean they have everything. Get what you like, like I've told you many times before. So I wanted to try the steak, I wanted the filet mignon but I didn't want to spend that kind of money because the filet mignon is about $60 a bag. I can buy real steak. I gotta dehydrate, I'll slice it thin and have jerky. But I've been wanting to try this out and we're gonna try it out now. So <clears throat> our oil's almost ready. Mmm. That's some good non lemonade. Alright, let me position you here. Do my mess too. And uh Yeah. 
we gonna see how good this stuff is. That little popping and cracking ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I guess if I got too close, it hurt. I can tell you right now, it smells really good. There, here's the one. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just cutting this little piece of fat, turn this into two pieces, make it a little more manageable. Now, being as thin as it is, we're not going to cook it for 20 minutes. We're just going to give it a good sear on the sides of it, and we'll be ready to go. My bad. Oh, I tell you, it smells really good. Like I told you before, they really need to get on this smell of it and stuff. Now the thicker pieces seem to be a little more firm after they rehydrate. I just hope I don't bite into it and it's a piece of cardboard. That would suck. <coughs> but then that would also tell me that I need to let it soak more. And again, I don't know how the rehydration process works in this kind of marinade with oil. They say use water to do it. But everybody knows a good steak. You've got the blood and the juices and stuff in it. Well, this is all that has been taken out. So when you rehydrate it with just water, you've got a steak that's been basically thawed out in water. It's almost what it's like. I believe these are done. Done enough for me. Let me drain some of this unhealthy oil off of here. I really wish these were nice and thick so that I could put them on the grill. But these are things that I do for you. It's because I love you. So, all right. Here goes nothing. I'm really not liking the looks of it. I think it could have went a little bit longer. It's not bad. It's got a good flavor because of the marinade, because I cooked it. My honest opinion, now this piece is a smaller piece, it looks a little better. My honest opinion, it's probably going to do better in a stew. It's chewy, tough, tough almost. You know how sirloin is really lean anyway. You cook it too long and you basically got beef jerky. This is a thick piece of beef jerky to me. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I will do a future video, look for it, where I take this cube it up like I said and I'm going to just cube it in water actually no, I'm not even going to do that I'm going to cube it up 
and just throw it in a pot of that stew while it's cooking. That way it's rehydrating while it's cooking. And we'll see how that turns out. Uh, the worst is it's going to be terrible. We'll wait and see. But I do have another video that I want to do. At the end, I'll show you a picture of what it is. <coughs> it's a cooking video. Pulled pork stuffed baked potatoes covered in cheese, bacon bits, chives, sauteed onions, peppers, and garlic. It is delicious. So uh, look forward to that video because I'm going to look forward to making it again. And uh, that's really all I got today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not going to go five stars on this. Uh, two and a half. Right, the flavor's okay. It's, it's a little chewy. It probably a little longer. It probably better in just plain water. Uh, I'll try one like that as well. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Remember, give me that like, give me that subscribe, give me the thumbs up, hit the notification button. You know what to do. I mean, get outside because you are missing the sweet outdoors. And like I said before, adventures waiting. Till next time. God bless and be safe out there.